Welcome back, champions, to Raid Shadow Legends, a new free collection RPG for your mobile device of choice. Lately, as you can see, I've really been getting into the game. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you puny mortals, you think you can take me or one of Raid's other epic boss battles? I don't even care if there's 300 champions in this game. I'll destroy you all! Fighting against me is foolish, as you can see. But if you'd like to fight alongside me, download Raid using my link in the description and apply for my clan by searching JonTron. It's free to play, and I'll be accepting a bunch of you guys over the next few days, so don't miss out. Go click the link in my description and join the fight. As a bonus, if you download Raid right now through my link down there, you'll get 50,000 silver immediately and a free epic champion. Happy hunting, friends. Guys, uh, I gotta be honest with you. I, I don't know how this got here. I was smoking a beer with my friends last night. I blacked out, and when I came to, he was there. I just hope my story can serve as maybe like a warning to some of you who are going through like a similar thing. And I, I just want you to know that at the end of the day, you are not a gnome. I mean, alone. Oh, okay, please. So I get the idea. You don't have to keep doing that. Let's be honest. We've all been there making that bad impulsive drunk purchase at 2 a.m. I'm just a real relatable human. Like you, I too have ordered this $2,000 eight and a half foot tall garden gnome because I had to make a video this month. But if you think that's bad, wait till you see this wacky just add water inflatable underwear. Hold, that's still just a brick. I was promised an inflatable, just pour some water on underpants and what I got was a lie. How do I redeem undergarments? How long are we supposed to wait? We'll be back. I genuinely didn't expect that, but we'll be back on this one. So I actually came back uh, like 48 hours later. Forgot this was here, but it's still exactly as it was when we left it. I, I genuinely at this point just want to see if I get underpants out of this. I'm shocked it's held up. What? <laughs> what the hell? Private's concealed. I'm not always a hack, but I am one today. That's right, today I'm diving into making some regrettable purchases online. Essentially, I'm going to buy some dumb shit and you're gonna watch me do it. And you've never, ever seen anything like this before on YouTube, ever. I'm the first and the last because I'm gonna copyright strike anyone who copies this idea. Okay, what do we order first? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you gotta start with the yodeling pickle. You can't, it's not something you can really ease into, so let's start with that. All right, buy now, I like that. This is great for impulse buying. Don't even gotta think about it, just buy now! Oh, hey there, Mr. Postman Drone. The special effect that absolutely nothing went wrong with. Of course I'll sign for that. Bye! Don't do anything crazy like to almost kill my crew. Again. Hold it, hold it. Oh, God, I'm holding it. On that note, let's begin. Here it is. Yodeling pickle activated. I feel like it's that gift from Arrested Development where he looks in the bag and he says, I don't know what I was expecting. Gotta say, it could be a little bit more gusto on that. Freaking four and a half stars from 706 customer reviews. What are the customer reviews? How to calm an Alzheimer's patient. Verified purchase. We bought this for my uncle, my aunt's husband, just in case you needed to know that, as a joke. Every time he had an episode, they've discreetly put this in his pocket, set it off, and he totally forget what he was mad about and start laughing at the stupid yodeling pickle. To be fair, Forgetting is what he's already good at, so you're getting, he's like forgetting, and then you get him to forget in the middle of a forget, that's forgetception. Buy your Alzheimer's daddy hoodling pickle. It's not funny. Don't laugh. Just a pillow, unsuspecting, isn't it? I'm beautiful, and now I can rest on me too. It's time to nap. You're not that good. I wonder why Jason didn't text you back. 
Can Porcupig be classified as a monster? All right, this is one I've been really looking forward to. The original boyfriend, Body Blue Pillow. It's Amazon's choice. Amazon recommends this to you. Meet the boyfriend pillow. You won't find him on a dating site. He's loyal and true. He won't leave you like Scott did. Scott is married now happily, and you see his pictures on Facebook regularly of him with his newborn, and it does hurt you, but the body pillow won't leave. It's the gift that keeps on giving. The boyfriend pillow is a perfect snuggle companion. Nobody ever opens their package up outside, especially if that were the item inside, okay? You're not gonna wanna out yourself to the entire neighborhood. It's a perfect gag gift that your girlfriends will laugh and fall deep in love with. That's a gag gift. I'm your girlfriend and this is my reaction. Yes. Okay, so um, let me get it. How am I supposed to, is it like this? Wow, is that what, no wonder women are into this. It doesn't feel right, but it feels right. I could genuinely see myself using this and that's, that's really the problem. No wonder it's Amazon's choice. It's John's choice now. So we've got one more in the pillow line. It's the Live By Care 3D Dog Stuffed Bed Pillow. And it's horrible and I hate it. Stop! Stop looking! What did you do? <laughs> okay, my overall rating for the boyfriend pillow. Five stars. I bought this as a joke and now I am a true believer and I blame each and every one of you for this. Giant gummy bears, party python, eight feet, 26.9 pounds. Now I wanna point out, <laughs> this thing really is heavy. <laughs> Fucking gummy python. Very big, heavy one. I don't wanna take a bite out of it. I don't, I feel like it's not right. All right, I'm gonna take a bite out of him. Ready? But he has a family, John. He d I don't care if he has a family. He's a snake family. Dude. Snake families don't count. You can't trust snakes. You can't trust snakes. Okay. But what if you could trust this snake? He looks kind of trustworthy. It felt wrong. It felt wrong. It felt immoral. <laughs> it felt wrong. I, I didn't like doing it. I didn't like doing it. It's tasty. <laughs> Believe it or not, that one has a purpose beyond what you might be thinking. This is a face slim exerciser. More accurately, a face slim exerciser, muscle lips, trainer, tightener, face lift slim. It's like a song. It's a face slim exerciser, muscle lips, trainer, tightener, face lift slimmer. I, really, what is it meant to do? It's the bright red lip shaped facial slimmer it works on the cheeks, chin, and other areas of the face that sag with age. Yeah, that's really gonna de-age me. Finally, they found the solution. Doctors have been looking for the fountain of youth for years. It's been right here. Use the stretcher for three minutes per day by simply wrapping the ends of the mask around your ears and placing the mouthpiece between. Yeah, I get it. Okay, I can see the picture. I see where I'm headed. Oh. Hi, look. I look like a lady in the kitchen. The Lakers record you say loud sounds, A I O U out loud over and over again. A E I O U, A E I O U, A E I O U, over and over again. Okay, let's see what things I can. Let's. I'll try to say some words. Okay, so you know I can't say he. I got, uh, this is actually. It's the one. Show the letter. This one, that letter. That's what I can't say. A E C D E F G. H I J K L N N O H E. He, as in the Irish potato fan, which kill out one million people. T R S T U E W X Y and Z. It's from my United Kingdom, and whoever else done says Z in the world. You got a Zedra? A Zedra? Do we call it a fucking Zedra? You fucking barbarians? I'm sorry. I had to pop it out to say that I'm sorry. Also, you know you have them in upside down, right? They do. It's your boy John here. Also, it's your soon-to-be boy Kev here. Hello. Speak up for yourself, for God's sake. Hello. This is, this is, Ke <laughs> this is Kevin. I bet you're asking yourself, who's Kevin and why? Well, if you look over here, You'll notice we've got some Zorb balls. That's right, Zorb balls. And this is Kevin Zobre. I'm putting Zobre in the Zorb. Yeah. You understand? Prove it. Kev, show your ID. Boom. I'm probably gonna have to blur most of that. 
So I am going to challenge Kevin here to the age-old American tradition of Zorb Ball gladiatorial combat. Uh, do you accept? I accept. And uh, so I assume I don't have to tell you. You already know the next step. Uh, we get the shambongs. It's a, it's a beer bong for champagne. All right, would you like the Moet and Chandon or the Vuve Clickout? I don't know how the hell you say this, but it's classy. Trust me, it was expensive. I'll try the Clickout. Well, at least say it right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> As is tradition, we must now switch the bong, the shambong, and begin to drink from the, sh the sh All right, girls, <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's happening. Oh, you know, it's like always way harder than it sounds. Let me get a puke. Is this good TV you guys entertained yet? Kevin, all right, get in. Get in the Zorb Ball! Get in the Zorb Just about what I expected. Someone stabilized me. Help! You asshole, who did that? <laughs> don't you fucking, don't you, bullshit. Just, no, nice shot, retard. Did you actually go on me? Did you actually freaking go? <laughs> Dobry flying in. <laughs> oh! Did it look good at all? Was Kevin's better? Yeah. I'm doing it again. So oh my thing. god, this is a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, the Sierra Mist is a bit like that. Have fun How do you there. guys feel now? I feel like I'm still drunk. I feel like I chugged <laughs> a entire bottle of champagne and ran around in a Zorb ball. Hug it, it out, hug it out. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, chill, dude. Yo. As is tradition, you hug, and then we are and leaving then... out the part where you used to get with the first guy to get the kidney. <sighs> if you don't, stay with me, have two kidneys. Two kidneys. Don't do the... American Drinking Gladiator Zorb Ball Race. Ball. Okay, but seriously, that gnome did actually cost $2,000, and I'm gonna need to like recoup on that, cause uh, first of the month's coming up pretty quick. And you know the best way to sell something for way more than it's worth, don't you? That's right. It's by making it art, baby. That's right. I set up this art gallery here in Midtown Manhattan and I brought people in from the street, making them think that the artist was a real Estonian guy who draws gnomes. So they've lined up, and hopefully they'll get a false sense of value and buy my gnome for one million dollars. Three, five, oh no. This is my home and what's going on? What is going on? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what say you about my world? Certainly not a million dollars. Well, you live in New York. Surely you have that much. <laughs> I don't have that much because I live in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Relatable, sister. Nice bird. Thank you. His name is Petrie. Petrie? Yes, like the dish you came from. Tell me, what was so interesting down there? They're all interesting. They are? I gotta be honest, like, we got like four gigantic, brilliantly painted gnome works, and you seem to be focused on the long gnomes. Not that there's anything wrong with them, I have an eight-foot one. What are you offering me? For you? Yeah, for the million dollars. You think I thought you were worth a million dollars? Are <laughs> you art? I, I mean, maybe to your family. To my family? What well, adopted, you say? By who? By adopted mother? What happened <laughs> to the original, you know? The original? She's fine, she's in Texas, we talk. You want me to get her on the phone? Yeah, please. Alright, let's see what she'll pick up. Hey, hi. Hi, Mom. Hi. Mother. I'm in a meeting, sweetheart. <laughs> just listen to him for a second. I just wanted to let you know that your daughter is worth at least $999,999.
Do you know how much I'm worth? One million dollars. Speaking of, do you have Visa, Amex, MasterCard, Bitcoin, Dogecoin? I don't know what to say, man. If I don't work, but just seeing how all those people were just treating you like you were just some large dough, not worth a million dollars. And even though you've taken over my house and cost me immense financial trouble, all right, I'll say it, okay? You are not just a gnome to me. There's something much more. And I'll say it again. You are not a gnome. It's quite before a gnome They're usually about this small But you are not a gnome I bought you for two grand Which I admit was dumb But now we're best of friends And you are not a gnome No, no, why do they sell this? Who would have bought this unironically? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Also, we made a commercial for Justin Roiland's new game, Trover Saves the Universe, which you can go click and watch uh, with this annotation on their Squanch Games channel right now. And if you don't know who Justin Roiland is, he's the co-creator of Rick and Morty. So if you like that, you'll probably like this. Also, if you like good things, you'll probably like this. Also, we sell merch. Uh...